All right, let's get started. Happy Monday morning to you. This is the King of Bybit, and thank you for tuning in. My channel is about teaching technical analysis, finding current trading trends, and bringing you the latest crypto and DAP updates. I'm going to start out doing analysis on Bitcoin, ETH, and XRP. If you have any special coin or DAP requests, drop a comment below, and I'll add it to the coin analysis list on my next stream. I stream twice a day, seven days a week, with emergency broadcast during times of high volatility. And uh, just wanted to get this out there as I noticed this morning as I currently live in, in Central Time and I made the mistake of having the 10 a.m. and the 8 o'clock streams in Eastern Time Frame. So I had to bump those up an hour. So 10 a.m. would be 11 o'clock, 8 o'clock here would be 9 o'clock. So if you see the stream time difference, that's why. So, so if you uh, enjoyed today's content, please leave a like, hit that bell and subscribe let's get started all right so looking at bitcoin right now it's the one that's moving the most uh we are in this ascending triangle a small one for the weekend we've basically just been ping-ponging in this little triangle area and you know as i mentioned this weekend there's usually not a, as much volume as it normally would be during the middle of the trading week so we <laughs> the decision of whether we were going to break it to the downside or upside was going to be made you know, whenever the volume comes in, that triangle is going to break. And that's exactly what happened this morning. We came up and we've tested roughly around 11,900. Now, if you see these little marks here, I wanted to, it's just something I wanted to bring up on my stream right now, is technically if we don't break $12,000, we are going to make what is considered a lower high, which is bearish. And as you can see, you know, here, we're starting to, we could be maybe building a new trend here, but we we must break 12,000. If we do not, I fear that this movement will be irrelevant and we could move down to possibly new lows here. So, your resistance points. Your resistance points on Bitcoin are going to be 12,000, and that's going to be pretty staunch resistance. If we can break 12,000, your next targets are going to be roughly 12,400 and 13,000. So those are just some bullish targets to, to keep in mind. And if and so and also your support levels on Bitcoin are going to be it's going to be what our basically our old uh, resistance was. So 11,500 will become the new resist or will become the new support level. Let's get a line here just to represent that. I want to get this too cluttered. Let's turn that green. So, just to recap Bitcoin here, your resistance levels are going to be 12,000. And 12,400, and your support levels will be 11,500 and roughly around 11,000. So, there's Bitcoin for you. Now, this is something I just like to, you know, as a little bit of analysis that's all based on my opinion. If you're a bull, what you really want to see at least a two hour candle close above 12,000 before entering. You definitely don't want to go long the moment you see. 12,001 as there is about a hundred dollar you know influx you know there's a difference of price between exchanges so what might be 12,000 here it could be 12,100 on another exchange and you could get massively rejected and in my opinion if we're going to reject 12,000 it, it's going to happen pretty quick it's not going to be like instantly hit it but when when people realize that 12,000 isn't going to break if that does you know if that is the case it could get pretty nasty Get some music on. So, you know, just be careful, guys. 12,000 is going to be, it's the target we have to break. You know, I really wouldn't worry about these targets until 12,000 breaks. Because, you know, if, if we do fail 12,000 and we fail hard, I think the bears are going to take control. And like, I, as I said earlier, we can maybe make a newer low here. So we can have lower highs and lower lows. So let's go back to Ethereum. So Ethereum had a little bit of a jump yesterday, but it's kind of lagging a bit now. Kind of just consolidating in this bull flag right here. You know, we were in this ascending triangle, just like Bitcoin was. 
We broke above it. Now we're holding our support level at roughly around $303, $304. So, the reason, so just as a thing to remember, your support levels on Ethereum are going to be $304. And if we, if we really want to drop back, especially if Bitcoin fells 12000 your next support level will be roughly $284. Now, let's say Bitcoin flies past 12000 and volume comes pouring into ETH. Your resistance levels are going to be 316 and 325 With the golden, like this is like the most optimal. This is if we really start going parabolic again. You can expect three, not expect, but 340 will be the, the optimal, like the best case scenario for really take control. So, you know, if I was going to play this, you, you really want to see us break this resistance level. And especially even more importantly, you want to see us hold the $304 support level. But being that Bitcoin is right at 12,000, you know, everything's going to follow Bitcoin. So just to recap, Ethereum real quick, resistance levels are 316 and 325, and your support levels will be the 304 area. You know, you'll have your psychological 300, but then 284 will be your next support level. Let's do Ripple. So I'll finish up our morning stream. And now if you guys have any other coins that you would like me to add to the next stream, Leave a comment below and I'll make sure to do my analysis on it. And because I, you know, I stream twice a day, and especially if Bitcoin fails hard at 12,000 or we, you know, we go parabolic above it, I'll be doing another stream today. But back on to Ripple. <laughs> I'm going to just zoom out and this should just speak volumes about how, how it's done the last couple months. I mean, we had a nice little know bull run here for say but ever since literally <laughs> what is that since the beginning of the year ripple's just been getting annihilated it's just it hasn't been having the best of times and that's being kind so you know on the shorter term time frames let's go on the one hour we have multiple touch points at 3300 sats got one here another one there Boom, boom, boom. So that's five touch points. Darn near almost have another one right there. And as I said earlier, it's like a relationship. The more you test something, the higher probability of, you know, it's going to break. So, you know, I would be a little bit worried holding Ripple right now. But seeing that we have all these touch points, which we really haven't seen anywhere back here, it could be indication of a bottom. But in my opinion, if I was trading this, I would be holding steady. I would at least wait for us to break above 33,500 sats and have, honestly, I would like to see a daily candle close above it. I would, I, I would say a four hour, but as you can see, you know, above, we consolidate for a while and then we just go right back down. So just be careful with Ripple, guys. Especially on the comparing it to the Satoshi charts because it's just in a massive downtrend and the trend is your friend. You don't want to fight it. So back onto your short-term targets. You have your one support level at 3,300. If you break that, and especially if you go back down, come back up, test it, and you fail again, you're going to be in price discovery mode. There really is no support levels under that. So just be careful. Your resistance levels are going to be 3,420 Satoshis and 3,500. And if I was to lean bullish on this, I would really want to, like I said, I, you want to break 3,500. You want to go back and you want to form support above this, then I would be turning bullish. You could easily have a gap up to almost 3,700 and even past then. You could be looking at 39, almost 4,000 Satoshis. So just hold tight the key about being a trader is not rushing into positions you want to be patient it's one of the biggest things i learned being a new trader you know all those years ago so just be patient don't fight the trend the trend is your friend now as i said earlier if you have any coin coin or dap request leave a comment below and i will add it to the next stream and we are going to be starting live stream soon 
So just keep that in mind. I think I've got the audio issues. That's been the biggest reason why I haven't been doing live streams. Is it seems like every time I turn my computer off, I have to rego I have to redo the entire process of reconnecting my microphones, the output, the input, and it's a pain in the butt. So once I get these issues, I get them more constant, you know, and I'm writing scripts down so I can remember how, you know, the process of getting this audio stuff back, back up faster than trying to just remember it with muscle memory. So, but I think that just about sums it up. So if you enjoyed today's video, please support my channel and help grow this community by leaving a like, click that bell, and hit the subscribe button. I stream twice a day, seven days a week with emergency broadcast during high volatility. You can follow me at johnsnell 23 on Twitter and join our newly created Telegram channel at King of Bybit. Thank you so much for guys for watching and I will see you here later. And just remember, if we go parabolic above 12,000 or we hit 12,000 and go back under, you know, especially if we really reject it, I'll be doing another stream tonight along with my one that I'm going to do automatically. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great Monday and good luck trading.